humans, we're a very predictable species. When we're born, we're already equipped with the same parts we'll have when we're collecting social security. Our organs and systems, arms, legs, facial features will all grow over time, of course, but they all function pretty much the same, whether you're young or old. Take a look at one of your baby pictures and you'll recognize yourself. Whew, that was scary. But in some animals, particularly insects, we can observe a different pattern of development called metamorphosis. With metamorphosis, the life cycle is characterized by almost miraculous transformations of body form and function. Animals that go through this process jump from one stage to another that is radically different. Our story begins in my backyard with a plant called the corky stemmed passion vine. There are three kinds of butterflies in South Florida that rely on passion vines. Their caterpillars eat no other plant and a chemical in the leaves makes the butterflies taste pretty awful to predators. We recognize this vine by its quirky stems, fancy little flowers, and fruits that ripen to the color and size of blueberries. One fine day, a female zebra long-winged butterfly lays her tiny eggs on a tender shoot of the vine. Three days later, a tiny caterpillar begins working its jaws trying to chew its way out of its chamber. And so it does. The little caterpillar is already hungry, and its eggshell is rich in nutritious protein. Nothing is wasted in this first important meal. From there, the caterpillar relies on its main food supply, the stems and leaves of the same passion vine on which its egg was laid. In a few days, we are tipped off that important things are happening when the caterpillar grows strangely still. It's about to molt. This starts with powerful pulsations that loosen and crack its papery exoskeleton. Off comes the old skin with its dark spines. The cap over the head of the larva is hard to shake loose. It shows the difference in size between the old and the new. For a brief time, the new spines are pale and stubby. However, more pulsations soon push fluids into the spines. The caterpillar has worked up an appetite, but passion vine leaves are getting boring. How about some old exoskeleton? Mmm, again. Nothing wasted. As the caterpillar grows during its 14 days as a larva, it will molt several more times and it will grow from 1 8 of an inch to nearly an inch and a half. A final molt reveals a resting stage called a chrysalis. For 12 hours, the caterpillar hangs head down from a silken pad. Then it begins to pulsate as the caterpillar begins the task of shedding its old exoskeleton. For about a week, the chrysalis hangs quietly. Inside, its cells are rearranging into an entirely new creature. As a larva, it chewed leaves, had stubby legs, a long, soft body, no reproductive organs whatsoever, and certainly no wings. But look at it now. The sensory organs of the adult zebra butterfly are highly developed, particularly its compound eyes. This insect will not chew anything, but rather it will sip nectar with its slender but complex proboscis. Soon the wings of the insect are fully expanded and ready for flight. At night, it will roost communally with others of its kind. If our butterfly had been a female, males would have paid a lot more attention to her chrysalis. Pheromones sent into the air would have attracted a host of suitors, in fact. There would have been fierce competition to find a way to hang on to the chrysalis. One of the males would have mated with a female immediately after hatching. 
soon she too would have begun laying eggs. And so the cycle of life continues. So there we have it. The life cycle of a zebra long-winged butterfly. Incredible, isn't it? Butterflies and many other insects like mosquitoes exhibit what we call complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis is characterized by four stages of development. The egg, the larva, the pupa, which is called a chrysalis in the case of butterflies, and the fully formed adult. Some animals, however, develop through a similar process called incomplete metamorphosis. With incomplete metamorphosis, there are only three stages instead of four. In insects, the middle stage is called a nymph. The nymph lives an active life, and so in this type of metamorphosis, there is no resting stage. A good example of this is seen in the life cycle of the dragonfly. After hatching from its egg, it spends a good portion of its life as an aquatic nymph, which looks nothing like the dragonfly we think of. And then one day, the nymph climbs out of the water, splits open, and voila, out steps an adult dragonfly. Metamorphosis in all of its forms is such an amazing process it's like magic, but it's not, it's biology. And as extraordinary as it is, this process plays out all around us, even in your own backyard. If you pay attention, nature is full of fascinating things that you just couldn't make up if you tried. 